and we welcome you. Uh, we welcome you into the house of the Lord. Uh, not just into the house of the Lord, but we welcome you into the presence of God. Uh, hallelujah. So we say praise the Lord. And welcome uh, on the behalf of our Pastor Bishop C. Sham Tyson. We thank you for joining us here at Calvary Ministry International for Midweek Manna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am Evangelist Monica Armour, and we would like for you to invite someone by hitting that share button. Uh, we're asking you today to hit the share button, hit the like button. Let someone know where you're at. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to read our announcements for today. Amen. Amen. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Those that's in the house, even those that online. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is primary voting. Also, the first day of spring. Amen. Amen. May not feel like it, but it's the first day of spring. Today's noon Bible class will be replayed on the YouTube channel at 7 o'clock p.m. Thursday, March 21st, our sanctuary prayer exaltation will be from 6 to 7 p.m. Immediately following the at following attention, ladies, Minister Morris Kennedy will be our guest instructor for our women's Ecclesiastes gathering at 7 p.m. He will demonstrate self-defense techniques. Sister Sheila Stevens, a Cletus leader, also at 7 o'clock, the A1 brothers will meet. Amen. Let us remember that on Thursday. Hallelujah. Friday, March 21st, celebrate recovery from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Hallelujah. Then next Sunday, March the 24th, is Palm Sunday with special guests from Teen Challenge. Amen. Special Dominion announcement. Dominion is requesting donations and volunteers for this year's Little Dominators uh, Easter celebration. Please see Sister Hattie Husson or Sister Rachel Brantley for more details. Also, Dominion meet, Midweek Check-In will be every Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. on the Zoom. Please check the Dominion Youth Ministries Facebook page for login information or contact Minister Nathan Brand Brantley or Minister David Hood for details. Let us govern ourselves according to the announcements. Amen. 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 It's time for uh, the teaching word, the teach word of God. And we do have our teacher in the house. Amen. Under Shepherd Smith. Let's greet him by saying praise the Lord as he come forth with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand praise for him. Praise the Lord, saints of God. I give honor, first of all, as I do, to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, the Savior of my life. I thank him continually for one day rearranging my life and blessing me to serve him. Because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you are looking at a happy man. Thank you, Jesus. Give honor to our pastor, Pastor C. Sean Tyson, and to his lovely wife, Evangelist Krista Tyson, and to the Royal Apostolic House of Calvary, my true kin, baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues kind, my real family in Jesus' name. Of course, I give honor to my wife, Beverly. Some brother asked me the other day, do I like art in Sunday school? Do I like art? And I told him, yeah, I, I, I like art. And I told, he said, what art do you like? I said, Beverly, she's my work of art. 
glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I give honor to God for my wife. Thank you, Brown. You like that, huh? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Let's look into the Word of God. Hallelujah. The Word of God. Hallelujah. It is the greatest, the only, the wisest thing that we can do is to submit ourselves to God. And I, I, I want to, you to understand that it is God and you. Glory to God. God and you. And I'm telling you, when we get finished here, hopefully, you're going to understand. God and you. And then it spreads out from there. Okay? It, it spreads out from there. But it's God and you. Uh, you came into your consciousness one day. And you saw who you were and whatnot. And you, you, you got attached to your mother and those that were taking care of you. That you felt this filial love for. And, 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 and what's the other love for the family? For, 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 no, no, heroes. We don't do that yet. <laughs> Agape love, yeah, that's it. Storge, that's the that's the, the the family love, yes. And then you uh, go on from there. But I want to read a scripture. Got lots of scriptures, glory to God. I want to read in your hearing. You can go there if you want. Second uh, Chronicles ten, verse number four. Watch my clock here. Thank you, Jesus. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. 2 Corinthians 10 4. 10 4, good buddy. As I remember this scripture right here always by that. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Verse number six it says, and having in a readiness to revenge. Listen at that. that having any readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, I'm still talking about God and you. When, let's look at, let's, let's pray first, Lord God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, with this your word, we ask you, Lord God, to come into this room, come into each one of us, manifest your glory in us. Hallelujah. And let it spread abroad from this scene to the screen and to all places where the sound of our voice may go. We plead your blood and we ask that you will cleanse us, keep us, Make us whole and make us one with God and with each other. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name. God, this scripture shows me and tells me that we can be allowed to have revenge. <laughs> Not against one another, but against that that has been perpetrated against us by evil spirits. And we have been seduced by evil spirits. Now that we have grown up and we know better, we denounce the works of darkness. Hallelujah. The Bible says come out from among them. And then as we come out, we're inviting God in every day. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Is that what you're doing? That's what I want you to do. We were that gathered here on a Sunday. We went upstairs and we had a meeting with the pastor, the under shepherds, the new under shepherd, uh, Elder G Craig Gilchrist and Quinn. God bless you. Let's say amen for them. Amen, amen. And, and, they, and they, they were teaching in the class that we should always try to stay in sync with our pastor. Glory to God. Now that's good. That's a good thing. That's an easy thing. Jesus said, my yoke is easy. It's good to be in step and in sync with somebody that is in step and in sync with God. Hallelujah. And, 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 and we went on. So, so I, I'm, I'm saying to you some of the things that he said. Hallelujah. March the 17th. Pastor preach, there is hope. And he said, I started to say, peekaboo, I see you. That's what he said with us. He spoke about how we must understand who we are. The ID, the identification of who you are. Each one of you. You and God. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. When he got finished, I told him, masterful. Yeah. Hallelujah. I wasn't here on the 10th, but the week before, I said, masterful to him. Glory to God. You, so, you see, we have to take the word of God personally. Every time we hear it, count it a privilege and an honor to come into his house and count it a privilege. I must understand who I am. Glory to God. Uh, uh, and you have to understand who you are. I told you before the other day when I was in here, I do, did my hand like that, and I said, God was at his level best when he made me. Hallelujah. And you ought to be able to say that too. God was at his level best when he made me. Come on, let me hear you. Talk to me. Make me feel welcome. Glory to God. That's because no one else on the planet Earth that has ever been here has fingerprints just like you. And no one else on the face of the Earth has a voice print just like you. My sheep know my voice. And ain't nobody got a voice like Jesus. And he says, my sheep... He, hear me and he said I know their voice he knows your voice take it personal hallelujah I got some prayers here for us to pray here in a minute and for this next week oh we gonna talk here glory to God let me take a deep breath here hallelujah uh, after, uh, uh, <laughs> after he said by the time that you're 12 years old you know something about what you like to do, what you want to do, and who has been an impression in your life. By the time you ate 12 years old. Well, when I got 12, well, Jesus, they found him in the temple. <laughs> Sitting with the doctors, hearing questions, uh, asking questions at the age of 12. And pastor said that he grew up around preachers at his house. His daddy was a preacher. Glory to God. My daddy wasn't no preacher, but he was a good, hard-working man. And he's the one that told me that Christ was God. Hallelujah. So my daddy was one of my heroes. My, my daddy built us a home in 1953. And the home that he built us, it still stands today really nice. It could have fit in any of those communities that they were building homes in war in 1953. Hallelujah. He was one of my heroes, my father, hallelujah, at the age of 12, 1953. So we must recognize who we are. Hallelujah. We have to understand our ID. And it, my father built that home, and it was always one of my quests to build myself a home and my wife. And I wanted my wife to be a work of art. I got some other things that I can say, but praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, 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 Luke uh, 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 
418, the Bible says that Jesus got up, he was 12 years old, and then he was 30 years old. He said, that spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind. Let somebody's eyes be open. Hallelujah. When I tell you about Jesus, it's about God and you. Hallelujah. He, the pastor told us to say that I'm different by design. Hallelujah. Only one design, and then they, and no more patterns of me. No more patterns of you. Glory to God. And he said that God created you. God created me. God called me. God chose me. God anointed me. He anointed each one of us. That's what we got on Sunday. Hallelujah. So we have to recognize who I am. I am a game changer. And how I'm going to do it? God and me. <laughs> a game changer. I am undefeated. Glory to God. Ha. God and me again. Ha. I'm a dream maker. God and me. Man, I got some good stuff to tell you, but I just can't tell you right now. I just want to tell you. Oh, but I, 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 I'm in the process. You remember the other week we were here and pastor was preaching. And he said, uh, uh, get with your neighbor, get you with your neighbor, and tell your neighbor two things that you want. Hallelujah. And so I'm standing right there, me and Elder Gilchrist, I mean, not Elder Gilchrist, but Elder Flores, we are standing up then, and everybody had got their partner. Uh, that's why I like to sit close to my wife. But anyway, we, 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 we got, and I, he, I heard the two things he wanted me to pray. Boom, boom, boom. And I prayed. And then I told him the two things that I want to do and I want him to pray. And when I told him, he said, it's going to be. I, mean, I, I see the elder brother, elder, this brother, he, he tore it up. And he prayed for me. And that thing has been putting in motion God and me. I have to say Beverly is with me. So God and we, because we're one. Glory to God. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Talking about God and me. And then it was so good that I had to, because uh, I, I, I didn't, wasn't telling nobody. And I, I told him first, so I got on the phone and I called Sister Longmire. And, and then I said, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I got to call the pastor first, I'll call you right back. But anyway, I called the pastor. I think I left him a message. And then I called you. Glory to God. That thing is in motion. Hallelujah. God and we. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, and then I received a text yesterday after we had that meeting. And they wanted me to say something in, in the message. That they asked me to teach. I didn't know I was going to teach. I was free. I was going to work on some other things yesterday. You ought to see my house. It's clean, but it's a, unorganized. It's a mess. But help me, Jesus. But I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Love. Glory to God. But anyway, I got a message from Hope, and it says for me to teach today. I didn't know I was going to teach, but praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been with Jesus. Glory to God. And he wanted me to say something about Lent, this Lent season. Oh, and that's good. We're in Lent season, so I looked at my uh, dictionary and had my wife look up some stuff. I just wanted to make sure that I had it. And said, Lent is the season that's 40 days from Ash Wednesday until Easter Sunday, observed by the Roman Catholic Church and uh, Protestant churches, a period of penance and fasting. Old English, English Lent is L-E-N-C, Lent's tin, L-E-N-C-T-I-N, whatever that is. Don't, I, this is not a uh, semantics, but just forgive me, hallelujah. But anyway, that's spring, meaning spring. But penance and fasting should be always. 
And we, we probably going to have to sit up something in here that you fast on Monday, you fast on Tuesday, you fast on Wednesday, somebody on Thursday and Friday. Uh, switch it around. Just keep it going. Because repentance is a daily work. God and me. God don't have to repent. The Son of Man don't repent. Hallelujah. Uh, he don't have to repent because he's just the perfect one. I need to repent. And not just for 40 days. But I need to do that around the clock. Around the calendar. I need repentance. Not just 40 days. Look what the Apostle Paul said concerning repentance. Hallelujah. Turn with me to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter number 7, verse 7 through, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 7, 9 through 11. I'm going to slow down here. I got, I'm going to just take my time here. It says, are you with me, anybody? 2 Corinthians chapter number 7, uh, verse number 9. He says, I rejoice not that ye were made sorry but that ye sorrowed to repentance. Glory to God. I can remember very well the day that Condrich Richburg Smith repented. They used to call me Red. So Red is dead and Condrich is alive to walk in the newness of life. I can remember that day very clearly in my mind. It was April the 24th, 1974. Glory to God. I fell on my knees at General Motors on the far west end of the plant. And, and I asked the Lord Jesus. I said, Jesus, come into my life and take me out of the dark. And from that day to this, it's been God and me. Amen. Hallelujah. God and me. And I'm telling you, I am enjoying what I am doing. I am a happy man. And we've been at this church uh, for 49 years and 10 months today. T today. We were in service right now, 49 years ago, and 10 months today. What's the day? The 18th, 19th. That's the day. May 19th. Glory to God. I remember. And guess what? Bishop said, Tuesday, I'm going to be teaching on the Godhead. I cut my teeth on the Godhead. I looked at my wife and I said, I want to be there. Ha, ha, ha. Because I had just heard a Jehovah Witness say, there's no proof in the Bible of the Godhead. I said, I want to be there. And I heard people arguing back and forth about the scriptures. And I said, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know, I can't help neither one of y'all, uh, a, a Jehovah Witness and a Trinitarian. I know a little bit more now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I rejoiced not that ye were made sorry, but that ye sorrow to repentance. Hallelujah. For ye were made sorry after a godly manner. That ye might receive damage by us in nothing. This is Paul writing to these folk. And they, some of them Corinthians, oh, they lived a horrible life. Glory to God. But they were coming in and then it looked like somebody had messed up here. As he goes on, verse 10, he says, For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. I don't have to, re I, 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 I'll repent, but not no more like I did. But yes, I do. But I have to stay in a mode of repentance. It's God and me. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Lord Jesus. My wife won't talk with me. I got all this stuff in my Bible. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Pray for me. I don't drop it all on the floor here. Thank you, Jesus. But sorrow of the world worketh death. You know, there's a sorry. I got caught. The folk going to prison now. They, 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 they tortured and beat this man, put a gun in his mouth and shot him. 
down in Mississippi, but the first one got convicted today. He got 20 years. And the brother that he shot stood up and said, I forgive you. Man brought, almost brought tears to my eyes. Glory to God. Glory to God. And the mother of the victim told the man, I forgive you. Glory. Put your hands together for that. Those, that family. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. We need some repentance. So, so the Bible, Paul talks it here. There's two kinds of sorrow. One, sorrow worketh repentance to salvation. That's the kind we want. And we want to stay in that kind of repentance. God and you. God and me. And then that, but there is a sorrow of the world. Worketh death. Glory to God. So there are two kinds of sorrow. Verse number 11 is where I want to go. And what I want to get with you. Let me put this out of here because I get excited. I want this to hit the floor. It says, 2 Corinthians 7, verse number 11 says, For behold, look, this selfsame thing that ye sorrowed after a godly sort, what carefulness is wroth in you? Yea, what clearing of yourselves? Mm -hmm. Yea, what indignation? Yea, what fear? Yea, what vehement desire. Yea, what zeal. Oh, my God. Listen at this man, Paul, right? He, he said, what vehement desire. The Bible says in the Old Testament, Proverbs 1 and 18, it says, through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. Hallelujah. That's what you have done. That's what I have done because it's God and me. It's God and you. That's what I'm talking about here today. Hallelujah. And when you separate yourself, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Come out. Seek the Lord. Separate yourself. Intermeddle with all wisdom. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1.24, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. It's all about God and me. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Hallelujah. It's talking about vehement desire. We got to let everything go and get after Jesus, get after God. It's God and me. It's God and you. Are you with me? Yea, what zeal. The zeal of the house of God has, is, is, is eating me up, and I'm eating it up. I'm just loving it. I love the Lord. I love his words. Hallelujah. He has set me free. I told Linda Daniels one time back years ago when she was here, I told her, I said, I don't care. I'm not so much caring or concerned about people. I said, I'm free. Glory to God. It feels good to be free, don't it? Hallelujah. No more change. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I, I want this zeal. Now, I want, what I want you all to understand is this 2 Corinthians 7, verse 11. This should be and ought to be your prayer pattern. We're getting, re we're, we're getting ready to go into fasting and repentance and this week coming up next week, th this is my prayer. I've been praying this. Y'all can, can start today, but glory to God. But I'm, this is a prayer pattern. Is this what you want? I promise you, and I'm just a man, it'll be God in you. And then it'll spread to your spouse, to your children, to your grandchildren, to your house. And then it'll get on the congregation if you come in here and I come in with like minds. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Are you with me? Okay. What, I said, what zeal? And look back where I started. What does it say? 
What revenge? Ha, I want to get I'm re revenge against the, the foolishness, uh, uh, the things that you look back and say, my God, have mercy upon me. Uh, 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 we, re we revenge, ha, a good revenge. And, and, and what, look what I did. I heard, I think it was you, Sister Brogdon, that said something about how like you'd be looking up words in the dictionary and you stop at another word. I do that all the time. I get going and looking in my dictionary. I like reading in my dictionary. This is what I found the other day. Just wasn't looking for it, huh. but just come up on me. It says M-I-S. What does that spell? Miss. That's right. It's a prefix meaning wrong, bad, and not. You know how the young folk used to say something, you say something, and they say not. <laughs> that means you're wrong. <laughs> and then it's got this prefix and all of these other words. But it was a misadventure. It's a mishap. Misadvised. To advise wrongly or ill-advised. Then I come across this one. Miss Anathel. A-N-T-H-R-O-P. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Anthropy. Anthropy. You will tell me, somebody, what, what, what is anthropy? Anthropy is the study of man. So misanthropy means hater of mankind. Turn with me to Revelation. Chapter number 12, and Elder Gilchrist, give us a loud voice. <laughs> he smiled. <laughs> That's my anchor man there, boy. That boy, I tell you, turn him loose, boy. You don't need no microphone. Glory to God. <laughs> Quinn put her hand and said, <laughs> you agree with me, Quinn? <laughs> Come on, Elder Gilchrist. Revelation chapter number 12, verse number 9. We're talking about a, a, a misanthropy, a hater of mankind. Come on up here. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you get this out there to the people too. Listen. And the great dragon. And the great dragon. Was cast out. Was cast out. That old serpent. That old serpent. Called the devil. Called the devil. And Satan. And Satan. Which deceiveth the whole world. He, he was cast out into the earth. Mm -hmm. And his angels were cast out with him. So misanthropo is a hater of God. The devil don't like you. It looked like he hates us. And I was telling my wife, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a thinker. I was uh, uh, Minister uh, Nathan Brantley. We was up there getting some food after we had ate. We was getting some more. And he said, Elder Smith, I can tell your uh, metabolism is like mine. We eat everything that we can get a hold to and don't gain no weight. Glory to God. That's what he was saying, so we laughed. But, but anyway, a hater of mankind, that's the devil. Glory to God. That's why we are to love one another. And this is how men will know that we are the disciples of God. Why? Because we got love one for another. And this is what's needed in the world today. I've never seen it like this. My God. Hallelujah. And, and, and Lord have mercy. Misappropriation. Mm, mm, mm. Misapplication. Mis uh, uh, wrongly. Uh, mis and, and with dishonesty. Misapplication and misinterpretation. And mis and dislocation of the scriptures will bring you about into false prophecy. Glory to God. Let me turn back to my notes here and I, let me finish up here a little bit here. Glory to God. But uh, we are going to be in uh, fasting and repentance mode here coming this week. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm.
Okay, let, let me go back here to, I was in Corinthians 7. Let's go to the next chapter, Corinthians chapter number 8. Hallelujah. And let's see what Paul has said here. And this, again, I'm giving you the, ch the, the prayers that we need to be praying. That's out of first, the first one was, oh, let me, I'm, I'm skipping some stuff here. I've got pink, pink. <laughs> Okay, first, 2 Corinthians 7 and verse number 11. There's prayers in there that we need to be praying. In the Old Testament, the Bible says, uh, Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins. Your reins is your, is your kidney, your inner part, your soul, your inner man. Hallelujah. And, and, and my heart. You, the Old Testament prophet uh, he said, try, examine me, O Lord. But when we come to the New Testament, the New Testament says, let every man examine himself. And so next week, we're going to be examining ourselves. Yeah, the Lord going to examine you, but we got to examine ourselves. That is uh, uh, 2 Corinthians eleven twenty eight. Let a man examine himself. And we're in the season of repentance and fasting. We're going to be examining ourselves. Why? Because it's God and me. And when we come out of here, I'm telling you, we're going to be powerful. I'm telling you right now, Mount Calvary is going to be powerful. I got some good stuff to tell you, and, and we're going to be powerful because we're going to go after it. How many going to go after it? If I can get... A uh, 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 couple more with me and Beverly because we can touch and agree on this. We want it. We want it. We want it. Got to have it. Don't want to look back. We want revenge. Hallelujah. God, we want to be in that army. Glory to God. I'm putting in reservation. If Pastor talked about our, our, our understanding our past, our ID understanding our past, understanding our present, who we are, and understanding our future. But when I put past, present, and future together, I always, always, always go to my eternity. Because I got some things in eternity that I'm asking for now. Somebody said amen. amen. I like that. Hallelujah. Because it's God and me. That's what we're talking about today. God and me. Hallelujah. And I ain't going to share a whole lot with you. But I want you to think. What, what, the, 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 the ultimate thing is in our prayer is I want to hear God say, well done. Are you with me? I'm giving you prayers to pray while we examine ourselves on this fast. And the, through a whole week. I missed that. How did I miss that? Not saying that to you. Yeah, I got it wrote down here in all capital letters. Whole week. W-H-O-L-E. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I used to be here with Bishop Wagner, and sometimes I would be in the pulpit. And I literally, I wanted to leave out of the pulpit because it was so much coming and I couldn't take enough notes and it was just splashing all on the ground all around me so I had, had to learn how to build myself a cistern cistern and put it out like that it's it just comes all on me now hallelujah because I'm, I'm after him God and me glory to God so next week we're going to be on whole week and we are going to be seeking God. And we're going to help one another. But I'm giving you prayers now to pray. Hallelujah. And let me get back over here where I was. Okay. Okay. Uh, where was I at? Okay. Did I do this? Yeah, did I? No. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Praise the Lord. I don't want to miss nothing. It's just so good. Yeah. Now I rejoice. Yeah, I got that part. Then seven, we talked about, yeah, having the revenge. Then in all things, ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. They had got into, looked like they had got into some kind of sin. But the, the, the way they repented, 
they were clear of it. Glory to God. Okay, so recognize who we are. Come, we come to a consciousness. Pastor announced, here it is right here, uh, uh, the week of the March the 25th, we're going to be in whole week. Verse number, uh, 2 Corinthians 7, verse number 1. I'm trying to take my time here. I got a little, about, about 20 minutes here. 2 Corinthians 7, verse number 1. I want you all to go there. These are our prayers that we need to be praying. Hallelujah. And, and so, are you with me? 2 Corinthians 7 and verse number 1. Listen. Having therefore these promises, plural. I got a little Bible, a little book at home with the promises of God in it. Glory to God. So, I want to get something. I just, this is God's promise. And you know he can't lie. It's God and me. Glory to God. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse <laughs> ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Amen. Glory to God. That's what we're going to be doing. That's what we need to do. We need to do it every week, not just doing Lent. We need to do it all the time, every day, every week, every time we open up our eyes. When I go to bed at night, hallelujah, last thing I do, I, I, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over me. You know, in, there was children, they say, now I lay me down to sleep. But now I learn something about the blood. Been pleading the blood when I came to my consciousness, the power that's in the blood since the 1980s. Because I've been in here in the house of God. And I've been seeking God. It's God in me. Glory to God. So, so perfecting holiness, that's going to be our prayer. That's what we want. How many of you want to perfect holiness? Glory to God. This is, and these brothers, that whoever they was and whatever they did, they showed so much repentance that Paul wrote about them. Glory to God, so that we could read it today, Ella. Yeah. Glory to God. And then uh, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. That's what we got to do. Oh, my, my. Consecration week. 2 Corinthians 12, 16 verse 18. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all that, but y'all read that and design yourself some prayers around 2 Chronicles 12 verse 16 through 18. I believe that's when, when those brothers came and they said, uh, uh, David said, are you all with me or, or, or are you going to come to here to deceive me? And, and, and they said, we're with you. Glory to God. That's what we got to tell our pastor. I think I'm going to, I got to read that. Ella Gil Chris, please. Read that. Glory. 2 Chronicles 12, 16 through 18. You got it? 1 Chronicles. I'm sorry. Did I? Chronicles. 1 Chronicles. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me slow down. Take a deep breath. Hallelujah. 1 Chronicles 12, 16. See what we got. Hallelujah. Okay. And Judah. And Judah. The David. They came down to David. And David went out to meet them. And David went out to meet them. This is what David said to them. If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, my heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to my enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hand. Ha! The God of our Father. Hallelujah. We ought to be. And see, see, see what, what did they say? What did, what did he answer? Then the, Spirit came upon then the Spirit came upon Mount Calvary. I got, my, I got Condridge named right by that scripture. Yeah. Uh, the Spirit of God came on Condridge. And you need to say that the Spirit of God came on you. And he, listen at the answer. Who was chief of the he was chief of the captains. And he said, thine are we. Thine are we. We give ourselves to you, Pastor. Yes. David, David on thy side. Oh, we on your side. Thou son of Jesse. Thou son of Jesse. Peace. Peace 
peace, peace. Three t- is it three times peace? Two times. There's another place, peace somewhere. There, there's a three time peace. Go ahead. Everybody ought to be saying that prayer to our pastor so that we can be one. Thank you. We can be one because we are powerful together. God and we. <laughs> I'm talking about God and me. And that is God and you first and then God and me. And see, see, this is our prayer. It's for me, <laughs> for my house. And for the congregation, Leviticus 16. I'm going to tell you, it works. That's the order. You are to pray for you first, for your house, and for the congregation. Do it, and we're going to be awesome. We are awesome. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 All those things that he told us Sunday, this is how you do it. You are a game changer. You're undefeated. You're a dream maker. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how we going to do it. Next week, we coming in here, we not playing. We pulling down strongholds. Hallelujah. And let me show you. Let me show you how we're going to pull down strongholds. Listen at this. And you can go. I, I really wanted to bring my Bible, but I, I mean my dictionary. I got an old raggedy dictionary falling apart, pages here and pages there. But anyway, M, look it up. I hope you've seen your dictionary. It was in mine. M, capital M, capital I, capital R, capital V. And I, it says Merv. <laughs> Look up, Merv. You might be able to look it up right now. That's my, my working sister right there. Merv. And Merv means a missile with separate warheads for different targets. All right. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the adversary is going to be cast down in this place. Because of Merv, we got huh, missiles, hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Get a stronghold on your mind, hallelujah. It's coming down. Come in here next week with the stronghold on your mind. It's coming down. If we pray for ourselves, for our house, and for the congregation, the stronghold is going to come down. Why? Because it's God and me. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Jesus went to the cross, died, got up out the grave, defied death. And we're the only ones that's preaching it. Muslims don't. <laughs> the Jews don't. We're the, many of us, some of us were Gentiles, but I, I tell you, I was a Jew, hallelujah, because I'm from the tribe of Judah. I praise, glory to God. It's just in my blood, hallelujah, glory to God. But anyway, y'all, y'all see what I'm saying? I hope you do. Huh. Now watch this, 2 Corinthians, back in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter number 8. Let me walk through this. I got a few more minutes. Hallelujah. I, I, I was going to, you know, I was, had put something else together to, to teach, but I didn't know I was going to teach today. But then when he got that call yesterday that I was going to teach, so I got stuff stacked up. Thank you, Jesus. Probably won't be able to get to it, but anyway. But anyway, listen at this. Here's our prayer, y'all. How many of y'all going to pray? Thank you, Jesus. Let me see your hand. Okay, all right, man. We, we going to do something good. You watch. It's going to be a change. What you say? You done deal? I like that. Praise the Lord. Okay, here it is. 2 Corinthians 8, verse number 7. Therefore, as ye are bound... In everything. How many of you want to abound in everything? Ask God then. 
Ask God. This is his precious promises. His word cannot lie. These are the promises of God. Huh? You want to uh, 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 abound in everything. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 I pray. <laughs> I pray that your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of the Lord. That's my prayer. I've been praying that prayer. I want you to start praying it for yourself, uh, you and God, and for your house, and for the congregation. How many, let me see your hands if you're going to do it. Hallelujah. God sees your hands. Hallelujah. Pray that you abound in everything. Now, you know what? When you say that, and, and, and then you really start going, my spirit, I want my spirit to abound, Lord. I want my spirit to always be connected to you. I want to bathe in you. I want the water out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water all over me and anybody that it gets in my company. Let them be blessed. Everything and everybody that's connected to me. When I go to the mall, when I go to the marketplace, you better start anointing the marketplace too. They're acting up. I do that. I got oil on this place. I mean, they, they might say something to me about it. Hallelujah. Put the oil out there. Glory to God. Because you want to abound in everything. I'm giving you the prayers. We can ready to go on a fast and penance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you want to abound in everything. Listen, in faith this is the next part. You see that? Do you want to abound in faith? Now, I could give you my buku, but I don't know how many scriptures, 10, 12, that Jesus Christ is the faith in the New Testament. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the faith. And this, I want you to abound in everything, in faith and in utterance. <laughs> I've been praying that for. And for me, you told, I told you it's God and who? God and me. And for me, that utterance be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I want to speak it boldly. That's been my prayer. That's been my prayer. Glory to God. Repented years ago. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I want to abound in knowledge. Huh. It's the spirit of the Lord God, the spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, spirit of counsel, spirit of might, and the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. I asked the Lord, I said, why is the spirit of knowledge way over here in sixth place? Answer came back, Elder, knowledge puffeth up. We don't want to get the big heads. <laughs> oh, knowledge puffeth up. That's what, say. that's what the Bible says. So, so, so that's why he told me that this way over here. You got to seek him with all your heart. Seek him, God. Pull it in down. When you get out of the bed, go to bed pleading the blood. Get up in the morning, I roll out the bed and plead the blood. Whew, getting a little older now, I got to hurry up. Get Well, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, somebody caught that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Knowledge. And then, in all diligence. You got to do this with all Diligence, hallelujah. That diligent comes from a, from, from a Greek word, spoudé. S-P-O-O-D-A-Y. It means a dispatch. It means eagerness. It means earnest. It means carefulness. It means with haste. The king's business requires haste. And I, don't you know, mama and daddy, I must be about my father's business. That's what Jesus said when he was 12 years old. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, so, so, so there it is again. It is our prayer. We need to pray. 2 Corinthians 8, 
verse number 7. Hallelujah. Do it make sense? Why? Because it's God and me. God, me, my house, the congregation. And everywhere I go, if I go to Walmarts, if I go to Sears, there's no more Sears. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We <laughs> redeemed some of them good days. Sears charge card. You go out of town, have to get some tires, you could go to Sears. Hallelujah. So, uh, look, let me, let me, I got a few minutes. I, I can do this. Okay. Okay. Luke, I must be about my father's business. I says that. So, when we, when you and I recognize God created us, God, hallelujah, called us and God chose us and God anointed us. I am a game changer. I'm undefeated. I'm a dream maker. Hallelujah. God reveals himself through his eternal name. I am, glory to God, Yahweh, hallelujah. It's the Hebrew tetragrammaton, Y-H-V-H, Y-H-W. H. Uh, we learned that in when my wife told me when we get married we're going to be Jehovah Witness because her mother was a Jehovah Witness. Eva Jones was uh, one of the finest women I ever known and, and, I, and Beverly had a good relationship with her mother and I had to watch what I said to her. And I said, you told your mother that? She said, go home, come on a date and sit on the side of the bed and tell you everything. I got to watch out what I'm saying. Thank you, Jesus. That's the truth, praise the Lord. But, but anyway, uh, I am that I am. He told Moses, Moses asked him, who shall I say sent me? And he says, tell them, God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, thou shalt say unto them, to the children of Israel, I am has sent thee. Hallelujah. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. God was confirming to Moses and to us, I will be what I will be. Glory to God. He was letting them know I am who I am. I am who I was. I am who I is. <laughs> I got it all wrote down here. He, he said, I'm the God of the past. I'm the God of the present. I'm the God of the future. I am which I was. I am which I is. I am which I shall be. I am what I was. I am what I is. I am what I shall be. I am who I was. I am who I is. I am who I shall be. I am where I am. I am where I is. I am where I will be. He's omnipresence. He's everywhere. Not make, maybe somebody might say it. They ain't making good English. First time I explained the Godhead to my grandson, he said, that don't make no sense. I said, boy, you got it. Because God has to reveal himself to you. <laughs> yeah. I got some more words to say on that. Huh? I am where I am. I am where I is. I am where I will be. I am where, when I am. I am when I is. I am where, when I will be. I am, I, I am how I am. I am is how I am. He's, he's the how, he's the when, he's the where. I don't care what tense you put him in. He is. God, hallelujah. Mm, I'm getting ready to go to my seat here, uh, hallelujah. But you, all you have to do is take your concordance, and that word I am means I will. Because the Amplified Bible, it, it tells you that he, he, he uses all these interchangeable words, uh, and they say that it, the scholars say that they took them six weeks for them to come to a conclusion what to say about I am because it took a hundreds of words to, to say what he was saying and he was saying all of this I'm omnipotent I'm omnipresent I'm all knowing he's everything is God and when God gets in you and on you you'll be undefeated <laughs> glory hallelujah I will be <laughs> 
what I want to be, when I want to be it, I am also means I will. So, so here's, a, here, here's something. Jesus in Revelation says, Jesus says, I am which, I, which was, which is, and which is to come, the Almighty. I could rest my case, but I got this Genesis 12 and 2. He told Abraham, I will make thee a great nation. I will bless thee. I will as I am. Hallelujah. And make thy name great. God's going to make your name great. Why? Because our ultimate prayer is, let me hear God say, well done. And I want my name to be written in the Lamb's book of life. Just start praying eternal prayers. Don't be take the pray. Don't waste a whole lot of time. I ain't going to tell you not to pray for things down here. But pray for your eternal salvation for you and your house. Do I make sense? Because it's God in you. Hallelujah. He told Joshua, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life because it's going to be God in you. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life that I am. He says, the Lord, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Glory to God. You see the always, you see the I am, you see the I shall be. <sighs> Glory to God. Here's, uh, here, here's, here's Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, how many of you need strength? Yeah, I will strengthen you. I will. That's the I am talking to you. The I am and the I will is the same. I will help thee. Hallelujah. Is this, these are the prayers that you need to pray while we're on this fast. Ah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, even the son of man, whom thou hast made strong for thyself. The Lord hath made bare his arm. Uh, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He's been revealed to us here at Calvary. Glory to God. I'm just going to stop. But before I do, let me give you this. Everybody turn with me to Isaiah. What are we talking about today? God and me. <laughs> Watch this. And you know how long you've been saved. You know how old you are right now. But watch this. And then I'm going to ask you to do this. And, 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 you know, Jesus said, my yoke is easy. I want to give you easy stuff. Okay? Can I give you something easy? Yeah. Amen. Smile at me, dear. Glory to God. You're going to laugh, too. Huh? <laughs> okay. Isaiah 65, verse 16, everybody in the house, it says, this is what I want you to do. He that blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. Tell me who the God of truth is. I want you, starting today, to bless yourself come on y'all yeah, yeah. say I want you to how many going to do that because I told you I showed you the order of prayer Moses God told Moses to tell Aaron that when he goes into that tabernacle offer sacrifices for himself first then his house, and then the congregation. And at the time, they had to take the, the, the rams and the bullocks and all of that and go in and do all that with the high priest and all of that. But he had to do it for himself first, and then his house, and then the congregation in that order. Jesus came here and he says, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory that I had with thee before the world was. 
And then he prayed for the New Testament disciples. I, this is the pattern here. But, but bless yourself in the God of truth. And what goes with that is Matthew 5, 1 through 14. Read that. Put that together. Isaiah 65, verse 16. He that blesses himself blesses, will, bless, shall bless himself in the God of truth. Who's the God of truth? Bless yourself then. And then Matthew 5, 1 through 14 is the Beatitudes. The attitudes that ought to be. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm done, but I want to give you some more. <laughs> bless you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we love you and we thank you for your word. We thank you for the understanding of God and me. Lord Jesus, these prayers that we uh, have come across here in your book of promises. We have these promises. Lord God, bless us to fulfill your will in our lives. Have mercy upon us. Give us repentance first. And let it spread around the world from this house. In the name of Jesus, we plead your blood. We thank you. And we ask these blessings in Jesus Christ's name. I'm going to yield. Hallelujah. To Elder Gilchrist. Come on here. Thank you, Jesus. Well now, shine your light from heaven on my soul. Come on, sing with me. If you find anything that should not be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. Oh, search me, Search me, Lord. Oh, search me. Search me. Search me, Lord. I want you shine your light from heaven on my soul. If you find anything that should not be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be saved. I've got to be whole. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, saints of the Most High God. Let's give God a great praise for the man of God sharing with us. It's God and me. You got to make it personal. It's God and me. There are times in this life when we're going through so much chaos and conflict and confusion, uh, it's not about anybody else. I've fallen on my knees and I've said, God, it's you and me. It's you and me. And we need to get answers from the Lord. You got to put it before God. It's you and me. Amen. It's you and me. And I need some help here right in through this area here of life that you have us traveling and as we're getting ready to travel into a wholeness week uh, the man of God was instrumental in giving us the tools to take before God because truly it's God and me I'm so glad he's a personal God Glory to God. He's personal. I don't have to worry about your salvation. That's your business. And that's between you and your God. But I'm so glad he's my God. Hey, come on, help me here. Say it with me. He's my God. Because it's God and me. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we enter into the whole, wholeness week, that old song said, search me, Lord. Hallelujah. Shine your light from heaven. Evie, it's not, it's not you I'm concerned with. It's, it's God shine your light from heaven on my soul. Lord, I want the Lord to know if you find anything. Because certainly I don't want to go to hell out of the church. 
I don't want to be here in this house and yet not make it into that house in, our, in the heavenlies. So God, I want you to do something for me on next week. Do I have anybody here that can help testify? Amen. If there's anybody that desires prayer, the altar is open for you. And you out there in the WWW, if you desire prayer, there is a phone number that is coming up. That's 330-747-4445. Uh, there is somebody waiting on the other end just to help pray with you and to pray you through whatever it is that you are confronting in this life. Certainly we have been blessed of a mighty God. You know, it's a wonderful thing to know that God loves me. Mm, mm. Y'all didn't get that. See, you're supposed to, Bible class today is personal. You're supposed to be drawing it all in, raking it all in. You're not supposed to be shoveling it out. You're supposed to be raking it in, raking it in. And it's a wonderful thing to know that God loves me. Come on, say it with me. God loves me. You missing moments here where God wants to do something for you right now just based upon the fact that God loves me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you, Pastor Smith, for that word that you have shared with us this afternoon. Thank you for God and me. God and me. Tell your neighbor, I, it ain't about you right now. It's about me. It's God and me. It's not about you. It's God and me. And, 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 and see, to be God, there has to be so much God that you can have your personal walk and relationship with God and it not take away from somebody else's personal walk and relationship with God. It's God and me. Well, Bless the name of the Lord. We are thankful. We are thankful. We are thankful. And uh, uh, the, the uh, deacons are getting ready to come around with offering envelopes for each and every one of you. Uh, again, showing up on your screen are a number of ways that you can give into the kingdom ministry. We are receiving an offering at this time. And you can give if you have not given your tithes and you want to give that, you can do that today. And uh, your offering unto God. You always want to be able to bring an offering into the house of the Lord. And the least offering that you can give is your worship. I said the least offering that you can give is your worship. And you can give that because he's worthy. Hallelujah. You can give that simply because he's worthy. You can give that because he deserves it. You can give that because there's nobody that can do you like Jesus. You can give that because can't nobody but nobody but nobody do you like Jesus. You can give him your worship. Hallelujah. If you can't give him your finance, you can give him your worship. If you can't give him a... a, a uh, 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 anything else out of your uh, out of any, any other substance out of your being the substance that should come out of the depths of your heart is glory to God hallelujah we do thank the Lord we thank the Lord and if there's anybody that needs an offering envelope the trustees deacons are here to share that with you just a reminder of the announcements are on firstly Today's Bible class will be replayed this evening at 7 p.m. on the YouTube channel and on Thursday. We will be in saturation prayer again from 6 to 7 p.m. Immediately following saturation prayer, uh, the ladies, Minister Morris Kennedy, will be our guest instructor uh, instructor for the Women's Auxiliary, and he will be teaching are women in self-defense. Amen. Glory to God. You know, saints are not exempt from the attack of the enemy. Did you hear what I said? You might be covered by the blood, but you're not exempt 
from the attack of the enemy. And it is important for you to know a few little lessons there that will help uh, keep you alert and keep you out of trouble. Uh, Sister Sheila Stevens, the ecclesial lead leader, will be uh, sponsoring that on this Thursday evening. Also at 7, the A1 brothers will be meeting. Friday, Celebrate Recovery will take place from 6 to 7 p.m. Next Sunday, Palm Sunday, next Sunday. My God, I since daylight saving time has kicked in, the days go by so fast, which means time, time is quickly, quickly fleeting from us. And here we are. It's Palm Sunday, this Sunday, here at, well, around the world. Here at Calvary, we will be in a special uh, service with uh, special guests from Teen Challenge will be with us this Sunday. A uh, special Dominion announcement. Dominion is requesting donations and volunteers for this year's Little Dominators Easter celebration. Please see Sister Hattie Hudson or Sister Rachel Brantley for more details. Also, Dominion's midweek check-in with will be every Wednesday at 8 p.m. via Zoom. Please check the Dominion Youth Ministry Facebook page for login information and contact Minister Nathan Brantley or Minister David Hood. And all the people of God said, Amen. Shall we all stand? Amen for our dismissal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, uh, Bible class is an essential, an essential. It is not optional. Did you hear what I said? It's not optional. It's an essential. And uh, while I'm glad for the attendance, there could be more. So be an evangelist of one and ask somebody, hey, I missed you last week. <laughs> That's all you got to say. I missed you last week. I look forward to seeing you this week. How's that? Try it with your neighbor now. I missed you last week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Wonderful. Now, God, our Father, in Jesus' name, we do thank you once again for this word that you have shared with us. Thank you for being a personal God. Thank you, Lord, that you give me the right, you give me the privilege, you give me the honor, you give me the opportunity of being able to first know that it is God and me. It's you and me, Jesus. Hallelujah. You and me, Jesus. You and me, me and you, Lord. Thank you for walking with me through this life. I cannot begin to imagine walking through life without you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now cover the saints of the Most High God as we leave this house, but not your presence. Go with us to our several places of abode. Cause us to find our abodes the way we left them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Rebuke the hand of the adversary on every side. Cause us now to walk in the victory that you have delivered to us through your death at Calvary. In the name of Jesus, hide us today under the blood. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name that you would cover us, protect us, and shield us. Most of all, keep us and save us, and we will give you praise. We'll give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.